The Wildlife Center of Virginia has been cooperating with the Department of Wildlife Resources for more than a decade on caring for black bears in Virginia. And over the last 10 or 12 years, we've had something in the neighborhood of 250 black bears come through our facility. For a long time, uh, Virginia's black bear population was very, very low, and uh, there weren't many left. And most of those that uh, did remain in Virginia were in Shenandoah National Park and some of the more remote areas of our national forests. Today, that has changed. Every 10 years, the department looks at its management strategies and priorities and tries to make adjustments and get it to a point where a balance would be reached between what the habitat would support and what the public could tolerate. And I'm very pleased to say we're at an exciting point. The new population goals that have recently been published by the Department of Wildlife Resources and these goals on which you have the chance to comment are really a testament to the department's belief that the citizens of Virginia can and will not only tolerate bears, but will eagerly look for ways to avoid conflict and coexist with them. The map that is available on their website shows the entire state of Virginia and only in the one small corner of far southwest Virginia do we have a problem where the bear population is causing some conflict and some damage to agriculture that the department may need to address. The rest of the state where the white color is shown are areas where the department feels that the bear population is appropriate. It's stable and we all will work together to sustain it and to protect it. So I'm encouraging you to go to the website. The address will be on this video and let the Department of Wildlife Resources know that you love bears, you appreciate them, you're willing to coexist with them and that you support their population goals in the management plan. One of the things that was a key factor in the management plan 10 years ago is there was a great deal of fear that having a bear around posed a danger to people or our animals. Uh, and there was also a great deal of misunderstanding about how to peacefully coexist. Only very rarely are bears predators or meat eaters. Bears are wild animals and they're creatures of habit and they are driven by their instincts. The main thing that they spend their time doing is looking for food. And if you provide an artificial food source that attracts bears, then you are responsible for altering that bear's natural behavior. So while all of us enjoy feeding the birds as an example, if you have a bear in the community that has developed a taste for bird seed, the easy way to eliminate the conflict is simply to take the bird feeder down at night and take that food source away from that visiting bear. They don't pose a risk to humans, they don't pose a risk to our pets or our livestock as a rule, and not only do they belong here, but having them here is a great benefit. So if you have bears in your community or in your part of Virginia, count yourself lucky and I hope you get to see one soon.